Yes, Phil. So the passage of time can be a very strange thing. I've had jobs where I've been desperate for the clock to move towards home time. The more I've stared at it, the less time seems to pass. There have also been occasions when my football team has been hanging on to a one-goal lead in injury time and the seconds stretch on forever. Understandably, at this time of year, many of us want to get to the big day, Christmas, as soon as possible. Christmas offers so many of us something to look forward to, and perhaps the more we want it to arrive, the further away it can seem. As with my experience of the footy match, time slows down. The temptation, then, is to get busy. When we're busy, time tends to fly by. By not watching the clock, we hope that Christmas will get here sooner. I get that, but I also think there's much to be said for trying to slow down a bit in December and not rushing to get to Christmas Day. It's easy to forget that before Christmas comes the season of Advent, that part of the church's year where Christians are asked to watch and wait for the arrival of Jesus on Christmas Day. The tradition of opening a door each day on Advent calendars is an invite to mark time in December. These days, you can get Advent calendars with anything behind the daily door, and I don't mind that. However, traditionally, opening that door each day is meant to give us a beat to stop, think, and perhaps pray. I think there's wisdom in this. I find when I slow down, even for a few seconds, and take a moment to reflect on what I really hope for at Christmas, I'm better prepared to receive the joy found in Jesus Christ on that holy day. Rachel, thank you. The Reverend Rachel Mann uh, with our thoughts for the week. I get the impression probably not the only one that will have a cheeky afternoon snooze on Christmas Day.